Hello there everyone. Today I'm thrilled to share my in-depth review of the brand new 14-inch MacBook Pro in the stunning space black color. The 14-inch MacBook Pro starts at $1,599 with the new M3 processor, 8GB of RAM, and 512GB of storage. For this review, Apple sent me a step-up configuration with the same M3 processor, 16GB of RAM, and 1TB of storage, which pumps the price to $1,999. This is just the base M3 chip. Apple also sells a 14-inch MacBook Pro with the beefier M3 Pro and M3 Max. The M3 Pro models also start at $1,999, while the Mac starts at an eye-watering $3,199. On top of more powerful chips, those models will get you more and faster. Thunderbolt ports, higher storage options, and more memory. Starting at 18GB for the Pro, up to 36GB or 36GB, up to 128GB for the Max. Configurations can be a headache to sift through. But anyway, you slice it, it's annoying that Apple's base M3 starts so underpowered with just 8GB of RAM. And yes, I will get into why 8GB of unified memory is not enough. Moving on to the display, the MacBook Pro features a 14.2-inch mini-LED display similar to the previous generations but now boasting an impressive 600 nits of brightness, up from the previous 500 nits. This makes it a remarkable choice for professionals who rely on high-quality displays. In terms of connectivity, it offers three USB-C ports with Thunderbolt 4 and USB 4 support, an HDMI port, a headphone jack, and even an SD card slot. The MacBook Pro's audio quality is top-notch as expected from Apple. The sound output is crisp, clear, and immersive, ensuring an enjoyable audio experience for various tasks, from watching videos to video editing. One of the most compelling features of the M3 Pro chipset is its impressive battery life. Apple claims it can deliver up to 18 hours of usage, which is on par with the previous M2 MacBook Air's battery life, a notable achievement for a pro-level machine. To put this claim to the test, I'll be monitoring the battery life throughout this video to see how it holds up. Now, let's talk about performance. The MacBook Pro M3 Pro, in terms of raw CPU power, shows a significant performance boost compared to its predecessors. Running a Geekgun 6 test, it scored 3,144 in single core and 14,230 in multi-core, showcasing a commendable leap in processing capabilities. While the improvement is notable, it's essential to understand that the increase in CPU performance is about 30%, which while significant, may not be a massive leak compared to previous upgrades. When we switched from Intel to the M1 chip, we experienced a monumental performance boost of around 250% to 300%. However, the M3 Pro's increase of 30% is still impressive for those looking to upgrade. Next, let's address the hard drive speed a concern for some users in previous iterations. I ran a Blackmagic disk speed test, and I'm thrilled to report that Apple has significantly improved hard drive speeds. The M3 Pro's read and write speeds exceeded expectations, achieving 5,700 megabytes slash and 5,000 megabytes slash, respectively. This is a substantial improvement from the previous model, addressing the concerns about slower hard drives. In conclusion, the M3 Pro offers a compelling upgrade, but it's not a significant leap for everyone. If you're coming from an M1 MacBook Pro or a previous model, the M3 Pro may be worth considering. However, the M2 Pro still delivers impressive performance, and the choice ultimately depends on your specific workflow and requirements. I hope you found this detailed review informative and helpful in making your decision. Please share your thoughts on the M3 Pro and your future Mac choices in the comments below. Thank you for joining me on this journey and I look forward to your feedback. Make sure to subscribe for all the latest updates and we'll be back with more exciting news. See you in the next video. Bye bye.